Hi, I'm Finley McGuirl. And I'm Drew Shulman, and we're both members of the HMS Student Council. We are here to continue our celebration of Women's History Month by presenting the stories of two great women in history that you might not know much about. We'd like to introduce our three esteemed panelists to help us with our debate. Mrs. Barber, Mrs. Brocklesby, and Dr. Alexander. Welcome, everybody. Here's how this works. We will each tell you some information about our subjects. Then it's up to you three to determine which of these great women impressed you most and which of the two will be moving on to the next round. I'll get us started with our third match. It's time for the Emily Dickinson bracket. Allow me to tell you more about Andre de Jong. She was a member of the Belgian resistance during the Second World War. She organized and led the Comet Line to assist ailed soldiers and airmen to escape Nazi-occupied Belgium. Belgium. She was born in November 1916 and died October 2007. What do you think, teachers? Sounds great. <laughs> okay, Drew, your turn. Tell them about Tammy Duckworth. Tammy Duckworth is the current Illinois State Senator. She was born in Bangkok, Thailand in 1968 and lived in several places, including many in Southeast Asia throughout her childhood. After attending George Washington University, Senator Duckworth decided to serve in the Army Reserves. I was going to get the same rank, the same pay, and I wanted to face the same risks as male officers, said Duckworth. She finished in the top three of 40 students in her flight class and became a helicopter pilot while serving in the military. Unfortunately, in 2004, she suffered a traumatic accident and lost both of her legs. However, she did not let this ordeal bring her down and is still well known for her vibrant spirit and personality. Tammy Duckworth went on to become the first Congress member to be born in Thailand, the first Asian American woman to represent, Cong to represent Illinois in Congress, and the first woman with a disability to be elected to Congress. Senator Duckworth is recognized as a representative of, of hope and change for the American government and for the world. Teachers, it's time to debate. Talk it through and we'll wait. Can you, um, Finley, can you say really quick again, the first, the first woman, what was she, she did what was she ate it, airmen. Can you just repeat what her role was? She organized and led the Comet Line to assist ailed soldiers and airmen to escape Nazi-occupied Belgium. Thanks. This is a hard one. I know. <laughs> they both sound very impressive, yes. but to me, the one, you know, you, you're risking your life to help people escape Nazi-occupied Belgium is just a grander scope of risk than... The other person, you know, Miss Duckworth, Senator Duckworth, um, who's also very impressive in her own right, but one risk dying to help people <laughs> escape. It's a hard call. It is hard. Um, I'm yeah. going to go with Miss Duckworth, Senator. Yeah. That's just my opinion. Yeah. I think I, they're both great, but I, I don't know. There's something cool about somebody being a pilot and then losing both of your legs and still being able to, you know, achieve you know your goals yeah i would ag i think i agree i mean i i'm impressed by both of them it's like i said it's really hard to choose because they both are amazing in what they did um but senator duckworth i i again just kind of when you said i feel like she kind of blazed that path a little bit too where she joined the army and, and you know during that time that was like almost unheard of and and then she still kind of went through like a lot of adversity losing her legs and she still, you know, maintained or, you know, was successful. So I guess coming back to what Mr. Langan said with who had maybe more, not that they, not that the first one, I, I don't know her name, I'm sorry, Andrea, did not have a global impact, but I feel like to me, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of going with Senator Duckworth. I'm on board with that. I could have gone either way, but the two of you have swayed me, so it's unanimous. We're gonna say Tammy Duckworth for the win. So it looks like Tammy Duckworth will be moving on to the quarterfinals.
Thanks teachers for helping us celebrate Women's History Month. We hope we, ta we taught you something new. See you next time. Thank you. Thanks guys. Thanks for including us. <laughs> guys. Well done.